Hello everybody, welcome back to Death Stranding. My name is Burke, and uh, let's jump into things. Uh, last time was the extravaganza of just getting things done. Uh, can you believe it? I went to the beach. No, I can't. I don't care. Uh, this time near the incinerator. Have I not already got that one? I may have already got that one. There is one where I know where it is near here. Um, but today we continue with the story. Uh, yeah, last time we, we connected everyone up. We are now pretty much done uh, with this, this lower area. The only place I need to finish is the old collector. Because he's a pain in the ass. And the novelist's son. Because he's a pain in the ass. Uh, we... Oh, the first prepper. We'll get around to them at some point. Um, I have also built the network completely out now. I can now travel pretty much across the entire map. Just by uh, zip lines. But we're not going to do that. Because as I've said, I want to try and do this. More, uh, more using the roads. So. Uh, let's go. Take Mama to go see Hartman. Uh, I don't think I should need anything. Uh, I mean, I've got a long range trike right next to me. Oh, she's even got her little thing, her little star. Alright, Mama. Hey, Lochner. Good to see you again. All right, Sam. Shame we have to meet under these circumstances. Take care of her. I will. And don't worry. She won't go necro. Millingen's special. I'd love if you explained why, but all right. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. Is it not creepy for you to be looking at your own corpse? Because of, like, the whole thing that they're, they're both now in her head. Like, they're, they're together again as one. So, like, she's looking at her own corpse, which has got to be weird. Also, Jesus, Lochner is skinny. Order of time. Oh, the bike moved over there. Interesting. I didn't know it moved, uh, moved bike, moved, like, vehicles for, uh, cuts and stuff. Okay, here we go. It's Hartman again. So what may be the better idea here? I wonder. Weapons restrictions lifted. How easy is it gonna be to get up from the doctor's side? Or is that more of a shield? If it's just sheer cliff, then I'll, I'll go up the way I usually go up. But if this is a little bit more easy... Oh, no. That's going to be real hard. Yep. Nope. Okay. All right. Turn it around. Let's go up this way. Nah, screw it. I mean, this is the way I usually go, so I'll just go this way. He's up there. So let's just go around these buildings. And I might get myself stuck. Almost immediately. Jesus, the rocks are like impervious. Alright. Uh, this way! 
Damn, we're not even going that quick. Oh. Ooh, hang on. Hang on. This may make life a lot easier. If I can see that up there. Connect. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back down. And I'm actually going to use the zip line here. Because it's going to be a lot quicker. Than Sorry, Mama. Uh, I, uh, this is very annoying, I know. Here we go. Over here. Back to the bridge. And jump. Oh. Oh, I don't like how her head flops around. Oh, I'm not going to be close enough, am I? All weapons will be locked. Weapons restrictions lifted. Bold. Um. Uh, can I? Fine. Fine, I'll try. It's cool if I can load her into that. Okay, ignore what I said, Mama. Yeah, here we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over. That's really annoying that that's just like that little bit too far away. But it's fine. I've made this journey plenty of times. Uh, we'll go to the right. We'll go to the right and... Samuel. And then... Okay. okay, we're gonna go up there. It's fine. We've got this. Here we go! And we should pop up on the right hand side. Hey! Up and clap. Keep going. There we go. Now, if I'm not correct. Oh, there's not. Oh my god, is this here so that you can, like, drive onto it and then. Oh. I do know there is a. There's one over there somewhere. Up! Well. I mean, as I'm... There it is, that's what I was looking for. As I'm next to a spa. Hey, Mama, wanna make a bath again? I mean, you're not going to, but... Oh, I forgot about this! I I actually totally forgot about this one. This one's really cool because yeah, you've got the little. This is like an actual Japanese onsen. It's a lot closer to a yeah to an onsen because you have that view and then you have the little buckets to wash yourself and the stools to wash yourself. And then Mount Fuji, which I, I guess is supposed to be like this mountain we're on, but that's very clearly supposed to be Mount Fuji, and then. 
Oh my god, that's so clever. You've got the the bridge, which is like an actual Japanese bridge. I love this. I love this game. It's so good. All right, mama. Let me just move the cat. Oh, sorry, Hartman. I'm trying to avoid knocking anything else over. And down we go. And here we are. Hartman. Here. Guess we'll just uh we'll drop our darling mama off. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Oh, I guess we already got the eight likes, like, through story stuff. That's kind of funny. Nice. Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. <laughs> don't know. I don't know why. Why Hartman couldn't tell me that himself, but all right. Man, if there was ever someone that needed a beard. I suppose he kind of does have stubble, doesn't he? Ooh, the thermal pad. I forgot that was even a thing. It's not helpful at all. Please proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Hey, the way you phrase that. Oh, that's not. Hmm. That's not deeply disarming. Skulls of humans. Throughout Please history. proceed into the facility like, with a cadaver. That'd be Homo sapien. Wait, no. That's human. That'd be Homo sapien. That'd be Homo, homo erectus? Or would this be just chimp? So, wait, chimp, Homo erectus, Homo sapien? I'm guessing. Then rocks. Lots of. Of rocks. Hey! I mean, honestly, this is a very cool design, like. I love how he has a funeral march playing as well. It's a goopy boy. He's a gooey, gooey, gooey dude. Oh, is that supposed to be what the hand painting is outside? Like, it's, it's showing that uh, BTs have been around for a lot longer than we think they have. Like how Sam is not at all worried or concerned about the flat line that he can hear. Not all like, hey, I came to see this guy and he's suddenly dead? Should I be worried? Hi, Hartman. Uh, 
How you doing, bud? Hmm. Well, Very cool. You certainly caught me with my pants down. Uh, I'm wrong. Glad he doesn't have stubble. And he desperately needs I'm facial sorry. hair. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please lay her down there. I looks like Sean from Assassin's Creed. Never noticed that. Still no sign of them. <laughs> you know your heart stops beating. Oh, is he logging? It stops movements? every twenty-one minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. Sixty deaths and sixty resurrections per day. Sixty opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the scene an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. Not the doctors really subtle, call uh, it myocardial Marvin. cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shape heart? Hell yeah. No, you really should. Show me. It doesn't run in the family. That's so cool. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time. I don't know why he's got the gloves on. Search there. for them day after day after day. I don't just could you. Oh, so you could say goodbye. Could you quite the opposite? It is said that everyone's that? beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. I wonder if that'll be a recurring theme in the next game as well. Thanks. If death man. would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. Kind of heartless, if you ask I'm me. I'm glad we could have this conversation. <laughs> I don't shake, bruh. Um, a body that doesn't necrotize. Weird, huh? No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The yeah, perfect please don't. It's kind of creepy. An impeccable corpse. This is getting creepy, dude. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. What Wait, am I looking at? Dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Oh. Human by the looks of it, I think. But. This huh. was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Weird. Yes. Don't say it like that. Don't say it like that. A body I want to be friends with Don't say it like that. And an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Stop liking me. It's getting weird. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. Oh, so we haven't been here for 15 minutes. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. Is it though? Because me and Amelie can see but each I'm other. The exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. 
Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. I don't know, bro. Bro, bro. Even if my every visit raises new questions. It's a very cute family. I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Yes. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Because it's always been there. Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. Nice kicks, by the way. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach. A collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Yeah, please figure out this, dude. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Kind of weird, huh? I mean, that's... I don't know how accurate that is. It's just a theory. The game theory! This is pulling the strings. Pulling Sorry. all their strings. I'm bits. Pavlovian. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Mm-hmm. Activating lab security measures. Oh good. Could you just now I'm trapped. Relax until I come back. Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. At least it's painless. And now I'm gonna look around your ship, dude. Hi, Mama. I need to find the specific things to zoom in on. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, interesting. PT. Oh, it's a uh, cryptobite. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a little, little guy. Uh, it's family? Daughter. Huh. Oh, that's a whale skeleton? I would have figured it would be like a plesiosaur. Anything else we need to look at in here? Oh, back on the funeral march. I'm sorry for this noise. It's very annoying, but I want to make sure I see everything in here. Oh, can I look at Hartman himself? Oh, no, the... Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, got it himself. Ah, uh, that's funny. It's got the beep going. Fun fact: Uh, Danny Sexbang, the uh, the singer for Ninja Sex Party, his uh, his grandfather invented, helped invent the 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 thing that makes that noise. Uh, like helped. Uh, helped invent the cardiogram, which is kind of a cool thing to like be able to say your family had something to do with. And of all things, his grandson makes dumb songs on the internet and makes everyone laugh for a living. Like it's cool. Now look, is it two hundred eighteen thousand five hundred and fifty? Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Gotta yes. suck living like this. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one, and intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Weird thing to bring up, bruh. Um, do, do, do you read, Sam? Nope. Uh, I do. Listen to music. I love music. Watch films. Certainly. I love movies. You know, I keep busy. Look at all those Blu-rays. a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. <laughs> all from before These the are like stranding, all course. films, right? <laughs> These are all actual films in the background but there. Honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. Hmm. You know, someone else said that to me recently. Lost my family in an accident. Well, God, the hood. The, I, I forgot the hood. I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> I ain't opening up. Dude. Stop liking me. Thank As you. It Stop. Happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident too. Hmm. Do you ever learn who his wife is? I was Who, um, in the ICU having Sam's heart surgery. Swipers? I don't remember. Out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. Jesus Christ. But the shockwave knocked out the power. And my life support. I woke up on the beach. Holy crap. A lot of people. The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? Do you want to do the shush thing? Yep. Saw that coming. Oh, I gave him a little I love saw stand. My wife. And my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me. Where are you going? Wait. Don't leave without me. Yeah, I'm gonna say they're on the beach anyway. Don't go. 
So I guess technically he's kind of the a ICU's Patrick. The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought like, back to by life accident. by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. How did you not and that die of brain the last death, time dude? I saw my family. Your brain it's should my not work. It's fault that we were torn apart. But it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. Oh, I guess unless he was on bypass. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. So, so I guess time... It's funny, though. There just keeps going. Even like, when my heart stops, the pain... Well, like... Lingers. I guess, like, he can spend as long um, as he wants there. Do you have any family photographs, Sam? That's wild. I have one. But I can't see my wife's face anymore. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. Hmm. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning. One that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Armily proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The truth is Texas the assumption the only place. being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You That'd see, be Texas, right? Hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. <laughs> Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. That's not going to end poorly. Sometime later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. Mm. The whole incident defied explanation. Well, I think Higgs is to blame. Yep. I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot still a knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Right. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the death. Yeah, I had a feeling that wasn't going to end well. Dumbass. Sam, the hourglass. Don't worry about him, Sam. Sam, the hourglass. The air mantle absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. Thank you. Sam, the hourglass. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Yeah, I got my likes back. That's a great moment. That shows Sam's fun-loving side. Hey! That was a lot of standing around. Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery turn. 
Our Hi, ultimate Diadman. objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the TAR. Okay. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the Cairo network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evil Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. He just words. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. You and got it. Get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Understood. Oh. You know what? I'm going to come back and do that one. I probably shouldn't do that one now. I'll do these one at a time. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. Oh, that's no not doubt good. the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. Administering shock. Stand clear. Oh. Hartman's back. Hey, man. The strata of the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period. The time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close. Ooh, just tell me. Leaving small mammals to inherit the earth. It's the most recent of the big five. And one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. Could you go into detail at the other four, please? Our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. Oh. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a well, tremendous that is kinda discovery. Cool. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. I mean, it's essential I get all my deliveries done, goddammit. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow capped mountains. Like, I just don't see the point. Oh, okay. I mean, it's. it's That's. I mean, that's relatively worthless. Realistically. Wait. I can build vehicles here? No. Okay. Whoops. That all that could... A geologist of ours has been studying. He's been out there conducting ex. No doubt the. Got down. No. The no. I know. I accidentally hit the back button. Hold on. Accidentally, I got distracted. All right. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's go jump on the bike. Order assigned. Okay. Sam. So, Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Well. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic the, hypothermia um... saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's ability seemed to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. Where's the... My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Oh, it's there! Perhaps you recall the models in my lab? Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though oh, I suppose I they must that. have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs> How deep is this? 
Oh, it's actually really shallow. Here we go. I'm just now learning how shallow this is. I uh, I always thought that was okay. rather deep. There nice. Oh my god, Sam. Go around the rock. After I get to him, it's the one afterwards that has a bunch of BTs on the Samuel! You're embarrassing me. Fine, I will switch to the less weight. Say about Rolling Stone. It does indeed gather no moss. Uh, okay. Oh, dude. There's a magic dragon's over. Okay. Sam didn't like my joke. Now, no, fuck you, Sam. Come up with a better joke than me. Oh. Uh. Hi. Oh, you're a, uh, okay, you're a, uh, you're a, uh, yeah, you're like the man. Hi. Like, like here, right? Yeah. Go around. Oh, you know, just ignore going around and go directly. Go directly that way, Sam. Ignore what I'm telling you to. This area was like, having a weird amount of stuff around it. I like people building stuff. Hello. sufferers see that end of day stuff i put the nightmares down to fatigue a uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me oh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage dying is not an option my research is nowhere near complete it's not just my life you're saving here it's my life's work i started to wonder if i'd ever see these meds I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank you. Nice. 
let's get you on the, uh, what the hell is Sam holding? Because that ain't the, eh. Oh, yes, right then, <laughs> if you'd do the honors. Camera angle. BB, you okay? Why did it give me a weird camera angle? What happened? Oh, I guess this isn't Texas. This is. Would this be Colorado? Right? Oh, you give me the climbing income mark too? Well, you're a waste of my time. That's pretty cool, huh? And just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials, studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. That's pretty cool. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelium readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call mm. these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Chirelium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Cool. New order available. Oh, I just saw that email. I know it's what the email said. Yep. Where did you want me to bring this from? You know what? We're gonna go do that instead. So, give me a minute to get back to Mountain Knot. And we're gonna go deliver this pizza one final time. I'll see you in a second. Hey, right. Sam is jumping for joy because we is back. And we are going to bring the final pizza to Pitta Engelet. Can I actually put this on my back this time? Uh, oh crap, we need to bring some stuff though, huh? Uh oh. Um. No. Hmm. I just make a like a bunch of these because I mean. Uh, wait, no. Eight, I think, should be the right now. No, because we's gonna use the zip wires for this. Let's offload that for now, and then. We grab that and put that on top. Uh, 
All right, Mr. Englip, here comes your final pizza. Uh, okay. I have to think about my route back for a second. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use the new route that I made. You can see the uh, all the supplies I built, but didn't use yet. Oh, you know what I might do, actually? When we get to this one, I'm going to... Let me just, let me just quickly do something. Hang on. Okay, that should be a little bit quieter now. That shouldn't be quite so oppressively loud. This is also like unironically one of my favorite parts of the game is building the zip wire, like the the network. I don't know why, it's just something about automating this entire process, which is very, very, very fun for me. And also the fact you can use other people's zip wires, which makes life so much easier. Hi photographer. I hope you're having a nice day. We still need to finish uh, off your full thing. Down we go. It's like I could have gone the other way and up over the mountains, but that we like that's a route I've been before on the zip wire, so I don't think it's Yeah, this is fun, this is new. Ooh. There's a uh, uh a thing there, a spring. And also, as you can see, I have put them as close to the uh, the front doors as I possibly can. And there's the uh, there's the author novelist son. Sorry, and this way. So we don't need that. And then over this way. I should naturally avoid any like pings because I'm on a zip wire. I remember correctly it does naturally avoid them. And then we're gonna go this way. I do wish it was like zoomed out a little bit or you could like actively zoom out a little bit. And then this way. I'm surprised there's not a song played for this one. If, uh, if I'm honest. Just because it's like, you know, it's, it's gonna be the last PT you do. I think that's what the email said. I guess the last beat you deliver. So I'm like, oh, I, I kind of thought there'd be, you know, a song playing. Here we go. Now you may notice these ones are a little bit closer than I would have liked. Because I like having the full distance on these. But I just, I couldn't really figure out a way of doing that. I might come back and move that one at some point. I'm fairly certain that's at the 350 radius from the other one. Oh yeah, I do it. I do it for four. Yeah, as you can see, these are like really close together, which annoys me, but oh well. Oh. Hmm. I may actually 
need to move this one in the future. Okay, I know what I'm doing after I've delivered this pizza. I just realized I could have done that right now. So you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quickly do. Like, can I? What are the odds I'm not gonna put this on this rock? Hang on, Mr. Mr. Englet. Let me just uh, let me just dismantle. This one. Uh. Damn it. This isn't. This isn't that massive of a slope. Uh oh. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, why is that? Oh, it's, it is out of range. Okay, well, I know what I'm going to come back and do. This may have been a really dumb idea. Uh. <laughs> hurry, 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 I should never have got off. I should never have gotten off. Oh, please. Oh, please. I made a mistake. Left me on the damn thing. Thank you. And away we go. If I can get rid of this one, that's another one in the pocket I can use somewhere else. Oh, have they all come back? Did someone build a zip line right there? Because that's not my zip line. There's one, it's not anyway. Yep, I knew it. That's a dumb spot for a zip line. So close. Two more zip lines. 
and we can make the rest of the way on foot. You know what? I'm actually gonna go on foot from here, I think. Before I forget, I know this is petty, and I don't need to do this, but get out of here. Be better, Ariodice's skull. Ariodice's skull. Oh god, I don't think I can actually... Safely... Hang on. There we go. Here we come, Mr. Engelert. Where are coming with your pizza? Your pizza, pizza. There we go. Which is the Canadian version of Little Caesar, right? I see your home, Mr. Engelert. <laughs> Whoa, out of control. Hit the old drink to replan our, our stamina. Oh. No, all top dog. Yep. Thank you, Samuel. Hey, right, let me just uh, re-bump the audio quickly. Sweet. Here we go. Mr. Engelert. We have your pizza. Have your pizza, sir. Delivering cargo. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. That looks like it's gonna be an S rank, baby. Those straight ass lines, and then me futzing about. Thank you for your continued support. Oh. Good work. That wasn't the final one. Did I mess up? Nice stupid. Let me free. Oh, I am stupid. There is one more. Oh well. We got that one delivered. So, uh... Uh... From, uh, from Pizza Delivery Man Sam and I. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this episode. Uh, I hope wherever you are, you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Or just generally a hell of a day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.